Welcome back to the Sports Wrap on the Run. It's certainly an honor to have in the CEO of Racing for Recovery, Mr. Todd Crandall. Todd, welcome. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me. Now, Todd, we got to get right to this. Uh, first of its kind in northwestern Ohio, we talked about this off camera, the half iron Thon, is that correct? That's correct. This is the first ever time that we're bringing a half Ironman distance to northwest Ohio and southeastern Michigan. All right, since you put it out there, boss, break it down for the people. What is the half iron Thon? The half Ironman consists of a 1.2 mile swim, followed by a 56 mile bike ride, and then a 13 mile run to wrap it up. Okay, and then you told me also there's a sprint. For the people that don't want to do the full distance half Ironman, we do offer a sprint distance race, which consists of a 0.6 mile swim, a 14 mile bike, and then a 5K run of 3.1 miles. And we've got the boss in this race today, right? You're in. I'm doing it. It's going to be a little break from compared to all the hard work I've been putting into it. So racing's going to be fun today. Todd, let me ask you this. What's the toughest part of that for you? I mean, everybody has their... You know, whether the run's easier, the biking's easier, what's the toughest part for you? The toughest part for me, I think, is the bike. I come from a hockey background, right. so swimming, biking, and running are new to me, but I enjoy all parts of it, but I think the biking is the most difficult for me. All right, Todd, let's get right to this. On behalf of the Toledo community, first of all, I want to thank you for what you're doing for young people, adults, families that are struggling with uh, myriads of problems with addiction. And, and Todd, let's, let's try and help some people here. You know, when someone is struggling with addiction, to me, it's like a, a pilot. They have a term called a death spiral, where they lose the plane and they're on the way down and they can't, they can't pull out. They can't extract themselves. It seems to me like addiction is somewhat like that. When you get in that death spiral, you can't seem to extract yourself, and your parents can't help you. Talk a little bit about that. How do you get help? That, that's a good analogy of looking at it, a plane that's spiraling out of control, but our, our philosophy is, is you can get control of that plane, turn it around and recover. Uh, just as I've recovered from 13 years of drug abuse, so can anybody else. And we're saying replace that negative addiction with drugs and alcohol with something positive such as triathlon. So no matter how difficult somebody's situation is, there is help for anyone. Absolutely, and our support groups are not only designed to help their addict that is struggling with addiction, we also pro provide support for the family members who are suffering as well. And Todd, you say something I think is important for people to know too. If addiction runs uh, in your family genetically, uh, you may have a larger or higher predilection for addiction, and it's a risk that people need to know You know, when they, they take a drink or they're involved in, in drugs, that if it is run in the family, there certainly is a higher risk there. Absolutely. My own mother committed suicide from her addiction. My uncle killed himself from his addiction, and unfortunately, I got into it. That is one thing that I'm finding more and more being involved with addiction is you'll find the cycle continuously repeats itself generation after generation, but it's going to stop with me and my family. Todd, let's throw out a phone number uh, for someone who's struggling with the issue. Parents that are struggling with issues, uh, some uh, way that they can get a hold of you. A couple ways. Phone, phone number is 419-824-8462, and the website is racingforrecovery.com. Okay. Mr. Todd Crandall, you're one of my heroes, helping kids and helping families with uh, problems in the Toledo area. And we'll be watching you on your uh, in your race today, too. Thanks a lot for the support. And one last thing, I'd like to thank Gallon and Takis for helping us make this all possible today. Our pleasure, Todd. Thanks. We'll be back with more Sports Wrap on the Road.